Hi guys, you are welcome back to Halogenous Ideas. In this video, we are going to be talking about while loops. So, loops are used for iteration in Python, in programming generally. In my last video, I spoke about for loops. In this video, we are going to be exploring while loops, okay? So, how do you write a while loop? You can initialize a number, say, count equal to 5, then you start your while loop. For as long as um, count is greater than zero, print the value of count. Now, you have to be very careful, you have to take this precaution. Um, every time you count can make your, your program to run, uh, the while loop can make your prog program run into an infinite loop. So for you to avoid something like that, you need to be add a count. You need to add a measure to avoid that. How can you add the measure? You can do something like count minus equal to one. Okay. So if I should run this, it's giving me five, four, three, two, and one. So what is happening over here? It is. It is saying that where count is greater than zero. For the first iteration, count will be greater than zero. It will come and print count. Then it will decrease count by one all right that is the reason why when it is printing the second time it is giving me four all right so that is how you write the while loop you can also use the else statement together with the while loop i'm going to be using the factorial to demonstrate this so i can say factorial equal to one then i can say the number whose factorial i want to find equal to five then I'll say for as long as the number is greater than zero, what I want to do is the factorial multiplied by equal to number, then I'll decrease number by one. Okay, then I can say else, print the value of the factorial. So print factorial equal to factorial. And that is it. If I run this, 5 factorial is 120. 5 times um, 4 is 20 times 3. That will be 60 times 2. That will be 120. So that is how you use the else statement together with your while loops. Okay? So, like I said the other time, your loop can can run into an infinite loop. Your program can run into an infinite loop if you remove this. If you remove this, almost always make sure that there is a counter somewhere, a check somewhere, to ensure that your program doesn't run into an infinite loop. So, to demonstrate how the break statement works with the while loop. You can do something like this. Um, if the count equal to three, then break. Okay. If I run this, you see it is giving me five four. When it gets to three, it will break out of the whole loop. That is how the that is how the um, break statement works. Okay. So. I would have demonstrated the nested while loop, but nobody nobody actually uses it that often, so I'll just leave that for now. So that will be all for while loops. Don't forget to like the video and um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you've got any questions, the comment section is open. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.